Hey there, this is Laquita with QuitaBugHandmaids.com. Thank you so much for joining me today for another Stampin' Up! tutorial. So today is part two of Tuesday's video. So on Tuesday, I used the Evergreen Elegant Stamp Set and I showed you how to create a very uh, simple Christmas gift card holder. Now you can obviously recreate this gift card holder for any occasion, um, but this particular one I made with Christmas in mind. So I showed you how to create this and then I had the idea of let's turn this gift card into just a beautifully wrapped present. Uh, so I created a um, an envelope that fits this particular gift card with these measurements. It fits it perfectly and I think you're going to really like it. So I want to share with you how to do that today. Here is the uh, sample one that I created and it is just gorgeous. Um, I actually just tried to film this video and I messed up on my last piece of this uh, pattern. So I had to pull out this one and we're filming again. Uh, but anyways, so I did use the um, Heartwarming Hugs Designer Series paper. Unfortunately, it has already sold out, but you can use any designer paper you have. So let's go ahead and jump right into today's tutorial. Okay, so I'm gonna get my designer paper ready. So this is cut six and a half inches by seven inches. I'm gonna bring in my Simply Scored scoring board. And I'm gonna try and stay sitting down to do this. We'll see, I hope it's in the frame. Um, let me straighten it out. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna put the long side of my designer paper, I'm gonna put that across the top, so this is the seven inch side, and I'm gonna do two score lines. I am going to score at an inch and three quarters. This is where I messed up in the uh, first video. I did my scoring on the wrong sides. And then I'm gonna score at five inches. And I do have all of these measurements over on today's blog post linked down below in the video description. So just rotate around, put the short side across the top, so that's the six and a half inch side. And then you're gonna score at three fourths of an inch. This feels weird sitting down to do this. Uh, and then you're gonna score again at five and three fourths of an inch. You don't really have to go over this twice because it's designer paper, but it's just a habit for me. And you really can't see those lines very well on either side, but it's ready to go. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring in my bone folder and I am going to um, give a nice little gentle crease because it is designer paper. You don't have to be too hard with it. Gentle crease to those score lines. And... There we go. When you fold these two sides in, you can see that one is um, a little bit wider than the other. The wider uh, side is gonna be the bottom of your envelope and the shorter side is going to be the top. So just keep that in mind. Now what we're going to do is we are going to do some cutting. I had to go get my paper snips and let me get, let me get a pen or something so that I can show you what we're going to cut off. So this is my, maybe I can do this. This is my uh, sample, my prototype. I use old retired cardstock or designer paper to come up with my prototypes or my samples before I cut into my good stuff, <laughs> like my current stuff. Um, okay, so this is basically what we're about to create. So I am going to be cutting off these bottom uh, pieces and then these top pieces and all we're gonna have left is the middle and you can see we're gonna angle in we're not gonna round the corners but um, you can if you want to um, actually no I think I did round the corners no I did okay so I've I've done this side so you can see this is what we are about to create so I'm just going to cut up this score line okay and then I'm going to angle in and just snip off that whole little piece. And same thing here, cut up to that score line and then angle in and snip off that piece. Okay, so there you have it. So this, the sides will fold in and then the bottom will fold up. So that is what we're gonna do. All right, so I've got my uh, seal plus adhesive here and I'm just gonna add this along the sides of our bottom flap of the envelope. Okay, 
And then I'm gonna fold in these sides and fold up the bottom. And that will close off our envelope and give us our little pouch. And then I am going to take, this is an old corner rounder that we had, we no longer have. We now have, I think it's called a, a trio punch that has a corner rounder, but I don't have that punch, so I'm just bringing this in. And I'm just rounding my corners, but you could keep your corners straight. You don't have to round them. Okay, so now we have this, and then what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of tear and tape adhesive to my flap here and I'm not going to peel the backing off. I'm actually going to leave the backing on and then that way when you're ready to actually use this envelope to close up your gift card inside, then you can tear off the backing and seal it up. All right, so now our envelope is assembled isn't that so cute and it fits this gift card holder just perfectly oh that's so so cute i love it okay so there's that and now let's add some decoration to this so i'm going to take these pieces of cardstock so i have got real red here and i've got some white cardstock and then i've got um, some circles from the layering circle dies. I've got a plain one and a scalloped one. I'm gonna die cut these out. I've got my mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. And then I've got plate number one, plate number two, excuse me, yeah, plate number two, which is our cutting plate. And then I am going to add my real red and I'm going to cut my scallop out of that. And then I'm going to add my white and I'm gonna cut my plain circle out of that and let's just make sure that's all on there and run this through hopefully it doesn't give me any trouble okay so it is not going to cut both of those at one time <laughs> I tried it said no that's okay all right so let's just take this off and then we'll do the white run that through Okay, so on my white, I'm gonna stamp my tree in pear pizzazz ink. I've just got some scrap paper here. I'm stamping the medium sized tree. So I'm just gonna ink that up, stamp off once, and then I'm gonna stamp right onto my circle. Okay, that looks good. And then in Mossy Meadow ink, I'm gonna stamp my sentiment, and I just love this sentiment from the stamp set. So it says, may the beauty of the season bring you joy and warm memories to cherish throughout the year. Just love that sentiment. And there you have it. So just stamp that right on top and it looks so pretty with that pear pizzazz tree in the back. And that tree is gonna lighten up a little bit more as it dries. And then I'll just add this onto my scallop with a little bit of seal plus and okay that is ready to go so i'm going to add some of this black and white gingham ribbon i love 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 this ribbon but i just i love black and white i'm going to add some of this to my envelope but i'm just going to add it right below um the bottom flap so i'm going to close it i want it to go right about here i don't want it to interfere with when i seal the envelope up so I'm just going to, I think I have way too much. That should be good. And these are not my ribbon scissors, wrong scissors. I'll go get the, the correct ones in just a minute. So let me see. Just want to straighten this ribbon out a little bit. Okay. So I'm just going to tie this in a quick little bow off to the side. And this ribbon ties beautifully. So easy to tie a bow with this ribbon. Okay, there we go. That looks good. Grabbed my ribbon scissors. I'll just trim down these ends. Okay. 
dimensionals on the back of this piece and I'm gonna do four and I'm okay actually I might do I might do one on the actual ribbon itself just to kind of keep it down that'll be about the center take off my backings and then we'll just pop this on right about here that looks so good. All right, so we've got that on, looks good. All right, and then I'm just gonna finish up my little envelope with some of these red rhinestones. So I'm just gonna add five of these red rhinestones. So let's just put these on. Okay, and there you have the completed envelope for our lovely gift card holder. I just love it, and you can just slip it right inside, close it up, so cute. So let me actually put that one, oh yeah, that looks better. Put that one in this one, and then in my original, I'll put this one so cute i just i love these these are just so so cute so i hope that you have enjoyed today's tutorial i'd love for you to give it a try and make these they really are just so pretty and so simple to create so again i hope you've enjoyed don't forget you can find all of the measurements and supplies for today's tutorial linked down below in the video description and stay tuned i will be back again very soon with another tutorial bye now